Today we're gonna to talk about five mistakes that people make when they take a tent out into the backcountry. Mistake number one is not pitching the tent prior to going out on a trip. If you have got a new tent that you're super excited about and you do not set it up before you head out into the backcountry, you have made the mistake. <laughs> the reason for that is, is every tent kind of has its unique quirks and needs to be able to get a correct pitch, particularly non-freestanding tents that use trekking poles and don't have a freestanding type of system like this tent uh, here behind me. And if you don't have that dialed in before you go out on a trip, they can prolong the ability for you to get your campsite set up in a timely manner, particularly if you have poor weather that is moving in. I would hate to have to set up a brand new tent in a downpour and then everything that I bring with me to then get wet. Mistake number two that people make is incorrectly using guy lines. Yes, <laughs> guy lines are an important part of a tent and its design. However, they are not designed to be pulled super tight. In many cases, a guy line is simply designed to aid in helping a tent stay put in high winds. But if you are pulling really hard on a guy line, sticking that out, you are potentially compromising the performance that that tent is capable of producing in extreme weather. So don't pull a guy line super tight. It is designed to be there to be an aid in the design of the tent and help with throwing and thrashing the tent around not meant to be pulled super tight. Mistake number three that people make is not staking the tent out properly. A lot of times I see a freestanding tent or a non-freestanding tent being staked out kind of weird and it makes it so that the design of the tent isn't set up correctly and this goes back to even the first mistake is if you aren't learning how to stake out the tent correctly and pitch it properly then you're going to either reduce the uh, comfort of the tent and the livable space inside, or you're going to create a scenario where the tent might get ripped and damaged uh, when you have different types of weather scenarios. So make sure that you are staking out the tent properly. Mistake number four goes into campsite selection and where you choose to put your tent. Oftentimes I see people just choosing a spot, throwing down the tent, and then they create an issue on the inside with their sleeping pad more than anything where they do not remove pokey things out from underneath the tent. Yes, you might have a ground sheet. However, stickers, thorns, and sharp sticks, even rocks could poke through and cause an issue with the floor of the tent. Mistake number five is using the wrong size ground sheet. If you don't have a ground sheet that is meant for your tent specifically, that was made by the company that uh, produces the tent, and you're using like a Tyvek ground sheet or like Polycro, then you need to make sure that you've got the ground sheet cut a little bit smaller than the uh, footprint of the tent. If you are bringing that out beyond the size of the tent, then what you are allowing is when it rains for water to accumulate on top of the ground sheet, but under the floor of the tent, and that can cause issues with the tent floor soaking through, and then you've got uh, wet items on the inside of your tent. So you wanna make sure that the ground sheet is a little bit smaller than the footprint of your tent so that you don't have that kind of issue happening. Now a bonus mistake that applies to any kind of person that is going out into the backcountry, whether you are a ground dweller or a hammock camper, is you have to look up. Once you have decided on a campsite, you need to look around and make sure that there are not any kind of widow makers that are going to break in high wind or rain or snow in the middle of the night and come and crash down, crush your head in the middle of the night in your tent or your hammock. So always look up, make sure that you're not going to be putting yourself in danger with a widow maker. Pay attention to those kinds of things. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Hope you have an awesome day. Catch you on the next video.